everyone, Sarah here from the marketing team at Ballistic Advantage and I'm here with Clint Hansen. We're here to answer your questions. Well, Clint is here to answer your questions. I'm here to watch, I'm here for moral support, I'm here to represent the people. Great, let's get started. <laughs> we have two questions that are very similar today. Okay. Um, our first question is from Juan. Juan asks, why do you prefer the coil pins on a gas block versus tapered slash dowel pins? Are they better? Good question. Um, I, I don't think it's necessarily a, a question of better or why we prefer it. Um, think more of it as what you need and who we're catering to. A um, little visual aid, say you're getting a pin FSB, obviously we use tapered pins. Mm -hmm. um, those are either pressed in or hit in with a large hammer and a fixture, uh, but the reason being this is your gas system, but it's exposed when you have an FSB, so you might want more of a secure fit. This is something more, you know, more more permanent per se, not that you can't take it off, but it's on there really, really good. So when we don't do it with a low profile gas block, it's usually, be, you know, part of the thinking is it's going to be shrouded by a rail uh, for one, so it's going to be protected, so you're less likely going to need that hard press fit to keep that secure. Uh, but also we're thinking about you guys, we're thinking about the do-it-yourselfer, what makes it a little easier to assemble. Um, and if you've seen the videos in the past where we're showing you guys how to build these and uh, install these pins, you know, and, and in essence, this is the coil pin, uh, and it does exactly what it's called. It coils. So we drill a, a hole basically through the through the gas block and into the barrel, um, which gives you a location to not only line it up but to start your roll pin in, and or your coil pin, and secure it to the barrel. The big reason why I think it's a little easier is because you don't need a press. You don't need um, a, a large hammer. Like I said in the videos, we show you how to install it. It's pretty easy. So, And it's not that it's not secure either. It goes right in the hole. It's going to stay in there. And then along with your set screws, gives you a pretty secure fit. And your low-profile gas box not going to go anywhere. So basically, it's in there to keep it from going from front to back. Your screws keep it from going left to right. And I guess they all kind of help keep it secure. But it's pretty much all you need. So again, it's not necessarily better or worse. It's more what makes sense for that particular part and to help you guys at home you know assemble these your, your your upper or your entire rig a little easier okay awesome awesome so our second question then comes from manny he says so if you have a pinned gas block do you have to dimple the barrel or will the pin and screws without dimple get the job done good question um if you want to be redundant and and you want the extra security you can go ahead and dimple the set screws a um, couple things come with that though. Uh, for one, if you get um, a low profile gas block you know, from Ballistic Advantage, you don't have to have the service of pin pinning it on there, so maybe dimpling it will secure it a little better. But if you get like say a, a Hanson barrel, which everyone comes with a pin Hanson gas block, oh, it also comes with one of these nifty new Hanson patches. But um, you don't really, <laughs> you don't need that extra security uh, just because I think because of the previous question we we're talking about how you know, rigid and secure it's going to be without having to dimple it. Another point is if you ever want to change that low profile gas block, if you want to get an adjustable, if, you, uh, if there's another uh, company that makes something different that you like that's, you know, uh, for whatever reason you're changing it, it's not always guaranteed that those set screw holes are going to be in the same place. So if you were to dimple it for one, it's not necessarily going to line up in the same spot and those set screw holes um, that you, or the, the dimples that you put in the barrel might pull the low profile gas block forward or back or over to the left or right. So that's just something to keep in mind for uh, future reference if you're going to do anything else with that barrel and or block. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Juan and Manny, both for your questions. And guys, if you want Clint Hansen to answer any of your questions, please comment below. And we so look forward to seeing what you send us. Thank you. And yeah, if you guys want Clint Hansen to answer one of your build questions, um, please comment below and we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>